G'day guys, Billy here from lostreasure.com.au Well, I'm going to go over to my secret bottle dump I found not too long ago You can just see, you can just see possibly spark luck, uh, sparkling in the distance And this is where I found the um, gold sovereign uh, coin holder So we'll go over there, I'm going to do a bit of sifting today so we'll go over there guys, I'm going to do a bit of sifting today and also a bit of bottle digging. So let's hope we find the back of that gold sovereign coin holder and some coins and some nice bottles. Alright, we'll get over there now guys. Alright guys, five minutes later and I've reset up my mobile uh, mattress sift. This is an old bed mattress I found out the local rubbish tip once and it's the easiest sift I've ever made. Five minutes of setup, guys, all I'm using is birdcage wire. So these little holes here um, are just small enough so a, six, a three pence coin won't go through, so it's perfect. I'm pretty, more or less, 99.9% .9 sure today, guys. We're gonna find some coins and definitely some nice old bottles. We'll go over and do a bit of digging later, but First, we'll start doing some sifting, so I'll get started, guys. Well, guys, second um, sift. I just found this nice old bottle. It's not embossed, but still, it's a beautiful old chemist bottle. So I'll keep that one. We'll clean it up. Well, guys, third shovel full of soil. Already found my first coin. It wasn't in sifting. Picked it up in the um, shovel, so we'll see what it is. Looks like a silver coin. Oh no, it's a... Oh, that's unusual. Oh, it's an English... English half penny. Beautiful. Oh, that's an awesome find, guys. Told you I'd find something. There's going to be plenty more, I reckon, guys. This is a really, really old chip. One of the originals, older than the one where I've been sifting. This will be the very original rubbish dump. So, we'll see what's underneath all this all here, guys. Well, guys, I've had a bit of a change of plan. It's going to get dark soon, so I thought I'd do a bit of um, digging so I can make a decent video. Um, so, I've started digging just over here, and I've got what looks like to be a little blue castor oil bottle just sticking out of the ground next to that shovel. I'll pull that out in a minute. We'll film it. But anyway, this is the bottles I've found so far just today. So, nice old beautiful um, Perth beer bottle there, nice embossed, this one's not embossed uh, bisot, what's that one, a biserated magnesia uh, bottle this one's just a plain old black um, probably an old port bottle or a whiskey bottle, that's nice nice little probably perfume bottle there little linseed bottle there nice little Davenport olive oil bottle just there uh, this one here a nice little perfume, a Rogers and Gillette Paris perfume bottle. A couple of little ink bottles, that one and that one, not embossed. A little poison bottle, another little linseed, linseed bottle. It's a different size than that one just there. So we'll go over here, guys, and we'll start digging, doing a bit of filming, and and we'll pull this one out now. It's not broken, I don't think. Oh, it is. Oh well. Doesn't matter, but still there's bound to be more in there. I don't think it's blue either But it's embossed. I haven't found one of those ones before. But anyway guys, there's bound to be more And just over there I've got some ones that I left um, buried so we'll dig those ones up later and Show you. Anyway guys, we'll continue going before it gets dark and hopefully we'll find some nice bottles So I hope you enjoy the video Well guys, just dug out a couple more an old HP sauce bottle and this nice bottle here, but it's not embossed. But anyway, I've got one here, so I've never... This one looks pretty unfamiliar to me. So we'll pull it out. It's broken. Oh, shit. A bloody another one. Never found a fully intact one of these ones, guys. Beautiful old Fordings Perth Salad Oil dressing bottle. It's got to be one in there somewhere, so hopefully we can find one. There are really good collector's item they are and here's a nice little cabin ink bottle that I just found these I love finding these ones they're beautiful bottles these are 
really old probably most of you know this is where they used to put the pen on those little edges there so I've got the you know ink pen or a little feather pen goes there and this here would have been the remains of an old baby bottle so we'll dig away this layer and see if there's any bottles there just be very careful oh what's that there there's one there oh nice no embossing no no oh well we'll keep going but good sign Heaps of bottles under here. It's a beautiful little remains of an old plate. That one there. I might go home and we'll do a search on that um, stamp there and see if we can find out what the plate would have been and if it would have been worth any money you can see the um or the ash layer we're getting to now Well guys, just found this nice little poison, um, property of Chamberlain's Limited Sydney. This is similar to the one what I'm giving away as a prize in my scrap competition. So we'll chuck it over there. And also I think I've got a little poison bottle here. Yeah, beautiful. They're always nice to find. Nice little poison bottle, they're beautiful. They always sell on eBay. So we'll keep going, guys. Well, fellas, just cleaning the hole, and look at this an absolutely beautiful perfume bottle. I've never found one like that before, especially with a stopper like that. Now that's what you call an absolutely beautiful bottle and an awesome sign. I haven't even really started yet. Look how it's a pretty widespread area where this dump is. So I think we're going to have a good time here guys. It's going to be good fun and plenty of bottles to find. There's also plenty of fragments of uh, marble bottles too. I did find a nearly intact one just before, but it's just behind me, I can't reach it, so... Well guys, I could have a nice bottle here. Um, last time I was here, I found a beautiful Sunbeam pickle bottle. It's the first one I've ever found, and I've never even heard of that brand. So, maybe, it could be the same brand. If not, I will show you a photo of what one looks like. No, it's a reindeer brand, I think. Yep. It's an old reindeer brand pickle bottle. It's a beautiful bottle, but it's an old pickle bottle. Well, guys, just struck another piece of gold. An old um, clay bottle. Look at that. It's the first one like that I've ever found. That's no, beautiful. That's a great sign. Just below the surface. That's awesome guys, beautiful clay bottle. It doesn't matter about that little chip there, who cares? Just got a bottle down here fellas. It's probably gonna be just a normal beer bottle, but you never know, it could be something special. So we'll pull it out. Oh no, it is. It's an old pickle bottle. Oh, beautiful. What's this one gonna be, Chai? Girl wasn't expecting that. It's probably a common one. Richmond or something. Um, let's see, it's probably a common pickle bottle, but still, these are always nice to find. 
Oh yeah, Sutherland. Sutherland and Sons, Melbourne. Yeah, it's a common one, but still. Beautiful pickle bottle, guys. Happy with that. Oh, well, guys, it's time to head home. I've got a bucket full of um, bottles and quite a few um, ones I haven't got, so that's great. So anyway, guys, it's going to start raining in a minute, and it's a beautiful bush area just here. So I'm going to head home now, and I'll upload this video, and I'll come back in a, another time, and in the next few days, or whenever I get the time next, and we'll come back and do a bit more digging. And hopefully we'll find some nice bottles. So, for you guys overseas, this is what an Australian bush looks like. Beautiful eucalyptus trees, heaps of birds and wildlife. So, this is the area where I grew up, guys. I used to come out here and play as a kid. And I used to come out here and smash all these beautiful old bottles. Little did I know that I'd be a big bottle collector in the distant future. Alright guys, we'll chat soon, see ya.